Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. Few days back, we started reviewing the non-retrofit or non-dynamic ROMs like Superior OS and dynamic ROMs like Paranoid Android and Evolution X. Our last video was about the new dynamic retrofit unofficial version of Evolution X 8.1 AMR. But in the new year eve, we got the new update for the Superior OS non-dynamic ROM which got new amazing changes. But to convert the dynamic system to the non-dynamic system and flash the non-retrofit ROMs once again is a real hassle for all OnePlus 6 and 60 users. But today we will show you how you can easily convert the dynamic partition system into the non-dynamic and can flash the non-dynamic ROMs like Superior OS or any other. Remember you will lose all your data during this process. Now without further ado. Let's get started. On a new adventure. On a new adventure. First, boot your device into the fast boot mode. You can use the advanced power menu setting or hardware buttons combo to boot into the fast boot mode. Now if you are coming from the Android 13 base retrofit custom ROMs and want to flash the non-retrofit Android 13 base another custom ROM, then you need the full Oxygenos 12.2 OTA package, full Android 13 base non-dynamic custom ROM zip file, final zip file and new TWRB. But if you want to flash the Android 14 base any non-retrofit ROM, then you just need the Android 14 based non-dynamic custom ROM. Here I am flashing the Superior OS and the new TWRB. So I will just show you the some steps of flashing the non-dynamic custom ROM over the dynamic one and converting your system as a non-dynamic in short time. So let's begin. Open the CMD inside the folder where you place the TWRB file. Please create the subfolders and keep these five flashing files only in the platform tools folder of C drive to avoid the flashing issues. First type the fastboot devices. Once your device ID gets detected, next type the command fastboot erase system underscore A and hit enter. This will take the some time to erase the system partition. Once done, now copy paste the same command again just rename the system underscore B and hit enter. Now using the volume up and down keys select the bootloader option and press the power button phone will boots back to the bootloader mode. Next type the command to flash the TWRP that is fast boot boot and drag the TWRP image file in the CMD and hit enter. Your device will boots into this new 3.7 underscore 12 TWRP. In the TWRP tap advance and tap flash current TWRP. You will see lots of red errors but don't worry flashing of TWRP will get successful. Next tap reboot and select recovery. You will get warning no OS install, ignore it and just slide the bottom bar. So phone will boots back to the new TWRP recovery again. Now in the TWRP tap wipe and do format data by typing yes. Now we will be able to access the internal storage of your device on the PC. If you still can't able to access it, reboot back to the TWRP and follow the same step I told few minutes before. Now if you are flashing the non-dynamic Android 13 custom ROM, then transfer the full OxygenOS ROM zip file, non-dynamic custom ROM and finalize zip in the storage. Now first tap install in the TWRP, first flash the OxygenOS 11.2 TWRP flashable zip file. Here I will skip this because I am already shifting from the dynamic to non-dynamic Android 14 based ROM. If you are flashing the Android 13 based non-dynamic ROMs, then flash the ROM and then flash the finalized zip. Now if you want the TWRP on your device, then tap add once, tap flash current TWRP, ignore all the red lines, then tap wipe and do the format data. Next tap reboot to system, your device should boot into the new Android 13 based non-dynamic custom ROM. But here I have to flash the Android 14 based new superior OS, so I will just flash the new superior OS based on the Android 14. Remember after flashing of the ROM, don't flash the TWRP via advanced menu. Just tap reboot the recovery, device will boot into the superior OS recovery. In this recovery, tap factory set and then select format data slash factory set. Once done, tap reboot to system. 
That's it. Your device will boot to the new superior reverse boot animation. While reboot, it may repeat the booting process after OnePlus logo. But don't worry, later you will be able to see the new superior logo on your device. So there is a minor difference in the flashing of non-dynamic Android 13 based ROM and non-dynamic Android 14 based ROM here. So please watch that part carefully if you didn't able to boot your device. So my device booted to the latest 2nd January Superior OS. In the next video, I will do the full review of this ROM. We will check out all the Superior OS last features were added back in this build or not. We will also check out all the bugs got resolved or not. So stay tuned to our channel. Video will be available soon. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.